Here comes the field for the second race. Second half of the double trifecta exacta wagering one my dad. Owned by James Bianchi, Bob Harper drives. Two, Pace Master, owned by Ken Briggs with Hugh Beatty Jr. Three, Go Robbie Go, owned by Inga Nemziski with Jack Daly. Four, Not Narb, owned by Ray Ratasiak with Charlie Neff. Five is HL Fame, owned by Lorraine Young and Elliot Deaton. Six, Spikes Big Guy, owned by John Croner with Charlie Schoonover in the bike. Number seven is Shockham Norm. Loop, owned by Robert Heacock, Dave Hawk drives. Nine, Stewball, owned by Homestock Farm, Charlie Smith, ten, almost ready. Owned by David Niggemeyer. Here he comes. Darren Mauser will be in the sulky. Field, four tonight, second race. Exact and trifecta wagering. Once again, track listed as good. Six minutes still post, and now we're down to five. Field is now in motion. And there they go. They're off in pacing after the loot on the far outside takes the lead. Quickly between horses, go Robbie, go and my dad along the rail. Here comes Shockham Norm with a rush on the far outside. HL Fame between the dueling leaders is on the move to fifth. Pace Master is sixth out of the second tier, almost ready seventh. Followed by Spike's big guy on the outside eighth. Nod and arm, I think that's Brandon spelled backwards, ninth. And at the end, the trailer is Stewball. As they roll by this opening quarter, that'll get your attention on a cool night. 27 and 2, speeding past the stands. Speed duel in progress here. Go, Robbie, go up on the outside of my dad. This is some Columbus Clipper hardball in here. Around the clubhouse turn. Pace Master in the third. After the loot is fourth. Followed by HL Fame in fifth. Getting caught in, Shockham Norm, moving up on the outside, almost ready. Gap of three, Spike's big guy is eighth. Followed by Nod and Armin up on the outside, Stu Baller flying back past the half, 56 and three. They're down the back stretch. My dad flips the pocket, comes back to challenge, go Robbie, go. Here's Pace Master, rushing up on the far outside, almost ready, almost ready, has jumped off stride. The six is on a break, Spike's big guy, and we have got a lot of horses vying for command, racing by three quarters. My dad assumes command. Pace Master is next. The three is off stride in 128 and one. Moving around the far turn. Pace Master and my dad are heads apart the lead. HL Fame moves up on the outside. Almost ready, who broke on the back stretch is about four and a half from the front. Off the turn, in the stretch, on their way home. My dad with a short lead. Pace Master is next. Stu Ball's flying 100 on the passing lane. Here's Almost Ready still attacking on the far outside. Pace Master under the whip is going to get it. Judges have made the result of the second race now official. In the winner's circle, Pace Master, four-year-old bay gelding by Brave Leader out of J.P.'s Miracle. Owned in Dayton by Ken Briggs, trained by Robert Burns, no relation. Driven by Sandy Beatty, covering them out here in 159 and four. That's a lifetime best for number two, Pace Master, the winner. Post time for the third and 14 minutes at 8.15. Super effect wagering, no changes. 2-1 exactus, $74.60, $74.60. The try, 7.73.20. Tonight's daily double on 8 and 2. 8-2 daily double, $69.40, 69.40.